Keith. What's up, guys? How, how are y'all? Welcome into Rover Sports. I hope everybody's having a good evening tonight. And um, what I wanted to do here is I just wanted to talk about one of my favorite prospects in all of the NFL. And that guy is Davis Webb, a quarterback for the New York football giants. And Davis Webb is personally one of my favorite players to ever play football because of the way that Davis Webb handled such adversity at Texas Tech. Pat Mahomes beat him out. Uh, Webb uh, was a middle school intramural C-team quarterback, and people told him to go play hockey, and he basically said, no, my goal is to be an NFL quarterback. And look at what happened. He now is an NFL quarterback. So let's let's see what Davis Webb did, did. You know, let's see what Davis is doing. Let's see what the kid's up to. Um, if you guys watch this game at all, guess what happened to Davis Webb? He got shafted, shafted by Benjamin McAdoo. Because what McAdoo did and Mike Sullivan is they now have this quarterback um, Johnson, I, I believe from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Jared Johnson or. Uh, it's not Jeremy Johnson. I know that that's an Auburn awful quarterback. But um, Davis Webb, he only got to play a couple series at the end of the game. He came in with like five minutes to go. And um, and essentially, this is what Davis did, all right? So they had this guy. They had Geno Smith play way too long. Geno's throwing interceptions. And and, and here is, here's Davis Webb, and this is his first pass attempt of the game. And this guy, if I had to bank on anybody from this class being a Hall of Famer, it's going to be Davis Webb. Because Davis Webb, if you listen to Davis Webb talk in an interview for five minutes, you can instantly see that the guy is going to be a superstar Hall of Famer quarterback. And it's just like Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck. The Giants are golden for the next, I'd say, 17 years. And you might say I'm being premature, but guess what? In this business... You need to make big time predictions. And I'm ready to put my name, whatever that may mean, just a kid YouTubing and, and just whatever. I'm willing to bank on Davis Webb because of the intangibles and because he has enough talent in this league. There you see him checking it down to the wide to the to the running back, Davis Webb. There is no one in this league that is gonna outwork Davis freaking Webb. Look at Webb right here in this in this in this play. And one thing about Davis is that we're gonna try to be fair, even though I'm a big Davis Webb fan, like I said, and I believe in him. We're gonna t we're going to be critical of Davis when he doesn't do well. That screen was good. Okay, shotgun some more, one read and go. Um, very easy, very basic completion. And again, this is garbage time because they had Johnson play the entire game and they had EJ uh, and they had Manuel play so much too. So um, third and 10 for Davis. One thing about Davis Webb is, you know, his arm isn't incredible. There I liked how he got out of the pocket. He tried to make that throw, um, couldn't do it. And by the way, this quarterback for the Steelers, Bart Houston, he's a steal. He's thousands of times better than Josh Dobbs. I watch Tennessee games all the time. Joshua Dobbs is not a great quarterback. And, you know, what's his name? Um, Houston um, of, of, the, uh, of the Steelers. Bart Houston. I've been watching him since his California high school days. Bart Houston is a beast. I mean, look at how quick this release is from Bart Houston. I mean, this guy is going to be, this guy could be very, very good. I mean, look at, even f on this incompletion, I mean, look at the arm strength and velocity of Bart Houston. I mean, this is a super quick release. Kind of reminds me of Phillip Rivers, just with a bigger arm. So Bart Houston, I think, is going to be very, very good. Guy just got to get playing time. And the biggest key to make it in the NFL is your coach has to believe in you. There's Davis. Footwork's nice. That's a nice drive. Nice drive to this receiver that had a famous basketball playing dad. That's what they talked about on the broadcast. Look at Davis's feet, though. 
I mean, you could tell Jim Zorn in the offseason worked with this guy, and then the release is high, high and tight ball. Davis Webb is such a football nerd that during practice, he sits behind Eli Manning, and he doesn't have a football, and he pretends to go through the rep as if he was Eli Manning, basically getting what you call air reps. The legend of Davis Webb, there's so many stories about like when he was a kid, he would have note cards of all the college plays when he was a fifth grader. I mean, the guy's a legend. And th- this these type of quarterbacks that have this work ethic, that's what you need in the NFL. Ah, I didn't like that from Davis's perspective. He gave up on the play way too soon. Um, watch. Footwork a little bit choppy, and then he just gives up on this play. But there's not a lot there. Um, still, I mean, Davis Webb, right? I mean, he's not a Deshaun Kaiser. He's not going to wow you with arm talent. But, you know, doing pretty good. Moving the chain. Steelers playing prevent defense. Look at this throw from Dave. I mean, that's a throw that's going to get a lot done. Maybe not that throw previously, but, you know, Dave's a gamer. And there he gets a blitz up the gut, and he tries to make something happen. This adversity should help Davis Webb. Unfortunately, I want to see this kid get more snaps, and I think that the Bills really messed up their draft. You know why? Because the Buffalo Bills could have had this guy. The Cards could have had him. Saints could have had him. I think this guy is the prize, along with Deshaun Kaiser, so far from the NFL draft of what I have seen thus far. All righty, guys, a quick Davis Webb review. I really hope we see more D Webb next week. Feet look good. Arm strength is fine. Not incredible, but I am willing to hold out hope that the kid's going to improve and start balling. It's tough to get into a rhythm when you get thrown in at garbage time. That is for certain. All righty, guys. Um, Have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah, that's Davis Webb, guys, of the New York Football Giants.